Welcome YouTube to another exciting episode. Today we are going to talk about cosmic energy. In cosmology, cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation, also CMBR, CBR, MBR, and relic radiation, is a form of electromagnetic radiation filling the universe. One, with a traditional optical telescope, the space between stars and galaxies, the background, is pitch black. But with a radio telescope, there is a faint background glow, almost exactly the same in all directions, that is not associated with any star, galaxy, or other object. This glow is strongest in the microwave region of the radio spectrum, hence the name cosmic microwave background radiation. The CMB's discovery in 1964 by radio astronomers Arno Pantheus and Robert Wilson, too, was the culmination of work initiated in the 1940s and earned them the 1978 Nobel Prize. Not the CMBR is well explained by the Big Bang model when the universe was young. Before the formation of stars and planets, it was smaller, much hotter, and filled with a uniform glow from its red hot fog of hydrogen plasma. As the universe expanded, both the plasma and the radiation filling it grew cooler. When the universe cooled enough, stable atoms could form. These atoms could no longer absorb the thermal radiation, and the universe became transparent instead of being an opaque fog. The photons that were around at that time have been propagating ever since, though growing fainter and less energetic, since the exact same photons fill a larger and larger universe. This is the source for the term relic radiation, another name for the CMBR. Precise measurements of cosmic background radiation are critical to cosmology, since any proposed model of the universe must explain this radiation. The CMBR has a thermal black body spectrum at a temperature of 2.725 K, thus the spectrum peaks in the microwave range frequency of 160.2 GHz, corresponding to a 1.9 mm wavelength. 3. The glow is almost but not quite uniform in all directions, and shows a very specific pattern equal to that expected. If the inherent randomness of a red-hot gas is blown up to the size of the universe. In particular, the spatial power spectrum, how much difference is observed versus how far apart the regions are on the sky, contains small anisotropies, or irregularities, which vary with the size of the region examined. They have been measured in detail, and match what would be expected, if small thermal fluctuations had expanded to the size of the observable space we can detect today. This is still a very active field of study, with scientists seeking both better data, for example, the Planck spacecraft, and better interpretations of the initial conditions of expansion. Although many different processes might produce the general form of a black body spectrum, no model other than the Big Bang has yet explained the fluctuations. As a result, most cosmologists consider the Big Bang model of the universe to be the best explanation for the CMBR.